Hi guys, Cindy here from Pleasant Sims. I hope you are as excited as I am because look where we are, Sim State University. We are finally at the end of round four. This is episode 56 of my Pleasant View Let's Play. We're back here in Sim State University where we're gonna be playing all of our first generation children in university and I cannot wait. So let's open up the Sim bin and see who we have here. We have Kevin Burb, Ivan Pleasant, Gia Caliente, Fabian Goth, and Eva Lothario, who looks kind of like a monster with these giant arms. I don't know what's up with that. Um, that is some weirdness going on with that thumbnail, but don't worry, she's not gonna look like that when we place her on the lot. So in our first semester, we're only gonna be playing Gia and Fabian alone for the first semester. In the second semester, we will be moving in Kevin and Eva. And then in our last semester, we will be moving in Ivan because he's the youngest of our Sims here. And this is so we can keep everybody's ages in sync. So what we're gonna do is Fabian actually has, it says he only has 700 simoleons right here, but he actually has 6,400 additional simoleons in his bank account. That's enough to rent a house. So what I think I'm gonna do is Fabian is gonna put down the deposit on a house and all of our Sims are gonna live together throughout college instead of living in a dorm. Since none of these Sims really need to find a mate, they're all paired up together. I think it would be really great if they all moved into a house together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat Fabian his money and then when we get in, we'll withdraw it from his bank account and take care of it that way. All right, I've given Fabian just enough money to rent this house. We're gonna rent this nice house over here in, I don't even know what area you would call this, but it has the bigger houses in it. Um, the houses back over here are only one bedroom and we need more room so that all five of our Sims can live together. So I'm gonna rent this house for them right here on the end. Um, 3,962 simoleons, so I gave Fabian 4,000. Let's move him in and get this started. All right, here we are in Fabian's new house at 10 Peanut Lane, or actually it's his new rental house in the university subhood. And this is what Fabian looks like as a young adult. This is what he aged up in, <laughs> which is just ridiculous. Look at these cowboy boots. I don't think that suits him at all. Um, and he's wearing the same hoodie that Bobby Broke was wearing, just a different color. But I want you to look at his face and his hair. So here's his face. He has that same kind of mouth that Mortimer had and those eyebrows of his mom. <laughs> I think he's quite cute. We might need to give him a little facial hair and maybe some eyelashes. Now, he decided that he wanted to cut his hair when he came to college. He had long hair for all of his childhood and teen years, and he wanted something different. So this is the hairstyle that he chose. Now, we could let him grow his hair back out, so I want you guys to leave a comment below and let me know. Do you want Fabian to get his long hair back and grow his hair out, or do you like it this way and should we keep it short? Let me know, and I will add up all the votes, and uh, we'll either change it or leave it this way the next time we play. Right now, it's going to be short for this first episode. I'm going to let him keep this hair that he chose for himself. So, he needs a little bit of a makeover here. As you can see, I'm going to do that now, and then we'll move Gia in and do the same for her. Okay, Fabian's makeover is complete, so let me know what you think. Um, Fabian is a nature sim. He's kind of like boho in style, so I gave him this really cute shirt. This is a 4 to 2 conversion, and I gave him some jeans and shoes, and then if we look at his face, you can see that I gave him a little stubble. This just makes him look older, I think, and some eyelashes so he doesn't look like he has frog eyes. And look how adorable he looks, all grown up, our little Fabian Goth, Mortimer Goth's son, and Dina Caliente's son. Dina Caliente is his mom. And you can really see the resemblance of both Mortimer and uh, Dina in him. But he's also his own very handsome sim, and he's got those brown eyes and brown hair that he got from Mortimer. I love Fabian. He's one of my favorite Sims that was born in the game. And it's going to be so much fun to play him in college now. Okay, so he's all ready to go. Now let's, I'm going to go out to the neighborhood and move Gia in now. Oh my goodness, look at Gia. This is Gia Caliente. She looks so much like Nina. I cannot believe how much like Nina she looks. 
Let's look at her from the side. Oh my gosh, she finally grew into that nose, y'all. <laughs> Remember her? how bad her nose was when she was a little kid? And she also chose a different hairstyle for herself. I actually think this hairstyle suits her very well. Um, she is a very outgoing, hardworking fortune sim. Um, I feel like she's going to climb that corporate ladder and she doesn't have time for fussy hairstyles. She still has her teenager makeup on and her clothing is pretty bad. <laughs> she's wearing a mismatched tracksuit, which I do not think Gia would wear at all. I think she's going to be pretty stylish. So we need to give her a makeover. I just cannot get over how much her face has changed and how much she looks like her mom. It's crazy. She really does look like Nina and Dawn combined and had a baby. I just love the genetics in this game. So I'm going to give her a quick makeover and then we'll see what she looks like. Okay, so here is Gia's new look for summer. I just cannot believe how freaking adorable she is. Look at this. So I chose these cargo pants and tank top for her. Um, I wanted to give her something comfortable, but something still cute that she could wear around college. And here's her new makeup as well. I gave her a more grown up smoky eye and just a little light lipstick. And there she is. So now we have Gia and Fabian living together in their own house at college. I'm so excited to get started. But before we can actually play, we need to furnish their house a little bit and also get their money sorted out. So let's look at the house. Um, it's pretty big. It is going to be cramped when all five of them get in here. Uh, but that's only going to be for one semester that they're all going to be in here together. So there's two bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom, and the bedrooms are pretty small. And then downstairs, there's a living room, kitchen, and like a dining area. Um, I don't know. We might be able to turn this into another bedroom. We might have to do that. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is now Gia brought 700 simoleons, and then Fabian had 738. I'm going to try to keep their money separated, but they are going to have to go in together and get a desk and computer. So it took absolutely all of their money to get the cheapest desk, chair, computer, and another bed for upstairs. <laughs> so they have nothing left. Fabian, he has a couple thousand still in his bank account. What he's going to do is we're going to withdraw the 4,000 that he's already spent to rent the place. So we can get rid of that. And then I'm going to have him donate that money to the landlord of this house. So that money is gone. He now has $2,900 in his bank account. I think he's going to have to withdraw another. We could take out another $900 just to help furnish the house a little bit. So let's see. Um, He's going to withdraw 900 He's going to keep 2000 in savings because whatever they have when they leave college, that's all they have to start their lives with. So he already spent a lot getting this house, but it was really important to them that they have a house to live in. They really didn't want to live in the dorms. Um, so Fabian decided to use some of the money that he got from whenever his father passed away and put the down payment on this house and help to furnish it because nobody else has any money besides him. So we're going to add just a little bit of furniture. I mean, they need like a table and chairs and maybe a couch. All right, I was able to buy them a cheap, really cheap table and four cheap chairs plus a couch, a bookshelf, and a small dresser for each of their rooms. That was all they could afford with Fabian's money. He's not willing to spend any more money on this and I don't blame him. So this is what they have to start with. They can do their homework here at the table and eat here and they will have to prepare their own meals and they can sit on the couch and read books and play on the computer and sleep. And <laughs> so that's all they can do. Oh, they need a trash can and I wonder if they have enough money for a cheap trash can. They do not. They need like two more simoleons. You know what? Let's sell one of these chairs. Since it's only the two of them, I'll actually just sell two of these chairs. And um, until the other people move in and we'll just go ahead and get them a trash can and put that over there. Okay, this is it. They are broke, poor college students. And this is where they are going to be spending their time uh, throughout their, their college career here. 
Okay, let's take a look at what Fabian and Gia would like to do. So Fabian wants to flirt. Oh, and he wants Kevin to go to college. How sweet. He misses Kevin already. But Kevin will be here um, next semester. He wants to join a Greek house. And we're not going to do that in this round because then our... Um, students would have to leave this house. So we'll probably save the Greek house and the sororities and stuff for maybe our next generation to explore those. And he wants Eva to go to college. Okay, so there's we can't really do anything for his wants right now. For Gia, she wants to go to class, do research with someone, and she also wants Eva to come to college and Crystal Jacobs. Unfortunately, Crystal Jacobs is a townie, so she won't be joining them at college. Uh, what she could do is research. She and Fabian could do some research together. And we're going to wait and see if they roll a want to get a specific major. And then we will change their major. In the meantime, I'm just going to follow their wants, uh, work on what they want to work on, and we'll wait for anything interesting to happen. All right, so... Gia and Fabian have been researching together, and Gia rolled the want to declare a biology major. So I guess she's going to want to work in maybe the medical field or something like that. So let's have her go and go to the computer and go to college, and we're going to declare her major right now. Okay, get out of the entertainment section and go declare your major. So far, nothing for Fabian. So we're going to keep watching him and see what he wants to do. It might take him a little bit longer to figure out what he wants to major in. Gia is now enrolled as a biology major. Her classes in freshman year are from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. She actually has all of the skills that she needs. Um, she's got a lot of body skill. Um, she really works, likes to work out a lot and she's going into the biology major. I think that's very, that's just perfect for her. And so we'll just keep working on, uh, whatever she wants to do. She does want to go to class. She wants to buy a stereo for 2000 simoleons. I don't think so. Fabian is about to go to his first class. Um, he does not have all the skills he needs. He is very intelligent. He has a high logic skill, but he needs body and mechanical. So hopefully he'll want to work on those and he doesn't flunk out of college. And now Fabian fears declaring the physics major. He does not want to go into physics. He's made that very clear. <laughs> and this cheerleader just ran in here and started cheering at Gia. And she's like, oh my God, leave me alone. <laughs> Look, she's like, get out of here. What are you doing here? I'm trying to write in my diary. <laughs> oh man, these cheerleaders are annoying. Okay, Fabian just got back, and check this out. He wants to declare an art major. Wow. And his hobby is, I believe it's nature. It is nature. But he wants to major in art, so we're going to let him do it. Um, his needs are really low, so I'm going to take care of that first, and then we'll enroll him in the art major. Okay, Fabian is now an art major, and his classes are from 5 to 7 p.m. now. And he now he needs different skills, so this is actually helpful to him. All he needs is a body skill, which really all he wants to do is go on a date and flirt and talk about his hobby. <laughs> Join the Greek house, which he's not going to be able to do because he can't abandon this house that he spent so much money to get. Gia just got home from her first day of class, and Fabian has made macaroni and cheese for them to eat for dinner, so she's going to come grab a bowl of that. She actually has the want to complete freshman year, so we're going to make sure she completes it, which I don't think she's going to have any problem because she has all the skills she needs. Um, but she does want to do research with someone, so maybe after dinner, she and Fabian can do a little research together. It's about noon on the, their second day in college, and Nina has called to talk to Gia and find out how she's doing. <laughs> Gia likes to walk around in her robe and slippers. But Fabian doesn't mind because he's not interested in ladies. <laughs> Fabian's just up here taking a bath. Neither of them have wanted to work on their skills, although Gia does want to do research with someone. She also wants to write a novel. Um, she's going to complete her freshman year, so maybe we'll have her do some research after she looks like she needs to take a bath. And Fabian needs to get something to eat. They've basically just been hanging out taking care of their needs, really. Nothing too exciting happen, happening yet. I can't wait until uh, Ivan comes because Ivan and Gia are a couple. But that won't be until her senior semester is whenever Ivan will be moving in. 
but at least they'll be able to be together for one semester before she graduates. And then I can't wait till next semester when we can move Kevin in to be with Fabian. Okay, so this um, lady just showed up while Fabian was chowing down on this macaroni and cheese, and she's telling him to work out. She's like, you need to work out, and he needs a body skill, too. And he's like, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Let me, let me finish this mac and cheese, lady. <laughs> let me finish this. All right, hurry up, hurry up, Fabian. I really want you to work out. Because you need that body skill. Come on. You can do it. All right. Here he goes. <laughs> Let's see him do it. All right. He's working out. And look, he's never exercised in his life. <laughs> Ever. But he just got some motivation from the fitness coach who just barged into their house and was like, Hey, fatty. <laughs> Stop eating that mac and cheese and get to work. <laughs> After a lot of hard work, Fabian gained that body skill that he needed. Look at that. Good for you. And he's just going to keep on going. I'm going to let him go as long as he wants to. Oh, he has to go to class now. So that's it. Um, finish working out. <laughs> but that was really cool how that worked out because he certainly didn't want to get that point on his own. So Fabian just got home from class and he immediately started working out again on his own and Gia joined him. She loves working out too and I think she's motivating him. She's like, come on Fabian, you can do it because she's really into fitness. So she's trying to get him into it too. And they are very good friends with each other. They have a 100 relationship over 100 and I just love their friendship so much. Gia's gained enough enthusiasm in fitness, she can now go jogging. But I'm going to go ahead and stop her. She's going to leave Fabian out here because she's really hungry and she finally wants to do an assignment. So we're going to cancel that. She's going to go in and eat a bowl of mac and cheese and do her college assignment. We'll keep an eye on Fabian. Maybe he can get another body skill point. That would be really nice. They have 13 hours, or he has 13 hours until his final exam. They both do. And look, she's going to get an A. That's awesome. Good for you, Gia. And let's see, Fabian, he looks like he'll probably get an A or a B too. So they both did really well in their first semester. We don't have anybody failing out yet. Okay, check it out. Gia finished the semester with high enough grades to snag a spot on the coveted dean's list. Great work. She met the requirements to become a sophomore, and she finished the semester with a grade of A+. As a result, the school has given Gia a $1,200 grant. Or 1,200 simoleons, I'm sorry. That money is going to be going straight into her bank account. And let's see how Fabian did. He finished the semester with high enough grades to snag a spot on the Dean's List as well. They both got another want slot. And he also got a grant of 1,200 simoleons. That is awesome. And they've also both aged up. So Fabian is now 19 and Gia is also 19. Now it's time for us to move in Kevin and Eva. I'm going to go out to the neighborhood. We're going to move them in and give them their makeovers, and then we will sort out everybody's money. Okay, Kevin and Eva have arrived. So let's take a look at how they look as young adults. Here is Eva looking so beautiful. She is so pretty. She really looks like Cassandra now that she's an adult. You can really see it. So let's do a little close-up here. I'll go into camera mode. And you can see how much she looks like Cassandra. She really favors her mom over her dad. She's still wearing the makeup that she wore as a teenager. So she definitely is going to need a makeover. And her clothing, it, this is a cute outfit, but I don't think it suits Eva at all. Um, Eva, Eva is an artist. So we're going to change her clothes as well. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, I'm done with Eva's makeover and look how gorgeous she is. She decided that since she was in college, she was going to ditch the ponytail and just wear her hair down. Um, 
she feels like that looks more grown up and I agree with her. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to have issues, transparency issues with this hairstyle. And if so, we might have to change it. But I do like her with her hair down and I redid her makeup a little bit. And we gave her this adorable outfit with the paint splotches on the pants because she's an artist, of course. So there is Eva, all grown up and ready to start college, and now we are going to make over Kevin. So let's look at how he looks now. So Kevin hasn't changed all that much. <laughs> he pretty much looks the same. He looks so much like his dad, John Burb. He really does. Um, but I kind of actually like these pants for him. I think that suits him. But we might just want to get him a different shirt and maybe give him a little stubble and some eyelashes and things. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm done with Kevin. And I'm just going to go into camera mode so you can see what I did. I gave him a nice t-shirt because it is summertime here. I gave him a t-shirt to go with his cargo pants and Converse. Kevin is really kind of like a hippie, <laughs> so I wanted to kind of dress him like that. And I gave him some facial hair and some eyelashes, and he just looks adorable. I just adore him. <laughs> him and Fabian both are so cute together. Okay, so now all of our sims are made over, and now that I'm looking at Eva, that blush. Ooh. She is a romance sim, though, so I think she would have the makeup on a little heavy. <laughs> All right, so everybody is done and made over. Now we need to sort out everybody's money and we need to make sure everybody has a place to sleep in the house. So what I'm going to do is Eva is going to have to share a room with Gia. So we're just going to buy her another bed and this is going to come out of her money. So Eva came in with 900 simoleons. We're going to buy her a cheap bed for 300. And then I bought a double bed for Kevin and Fabian uh, in their room over here. So now everybody has a place to sleep. And I took this out of Fabian's money because he had the most money. Uh, and all their money is going to be pooled together anyway. Unless they break up, which I really hope doesn't happen. Okay, so now I'm going to sort out everybody's money uh, on the computer so everybody can deposit their money into their own bank accounts and then we can go from there. And while Eva's on the computer depositing her money, Kevin is headed over to greet Fabian. Okay, but Fabian's really busy playing football. Stop playing football and see your love here who has come to be with you in college. Oh my gosh. And Kevin almost didn't want to go to college. He waited until the very last minute and then he was like, you know what? I do. I miss Fabian so much. Aww. And I knew they were going to do that right away. How sweet is that? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I can barely stand it. Okay, but now we have to send Kevin over to the computer to deposit his money as well. Well, Kevin and Eva are off to their first day of classes. They are both undeclared right now. Kevin did not get all of his money deposited. He only got 700 simoleons deposited. So we'll have to remember to finish that whenever he gets back. But he's going off to class. And then we can have... Fabian and Gia deposit the money that they got from their grant. All right, Kevin and Eva are home from their first day of classes. They met all of their professors. Oh, that's so annoying. And we need to have Kevin finish. Oh, look, he wants to call his dad and invite his dad over. That is so cute. Okay, I want him to go and deposit his money first so we don't lose track. So we're going to finish that. And then we'll have him call up John. And let's see what Eva wants to do. All she wants to do is ask us him on a date and flirt. Well, let's see. Of course she could ask Bobby on a date. I don't know if she has any other prospects. I don't think so. So let's see if she wants to, if she's able to ask Bobby on a date. Oh my gosh, the family, they need a phone. They do not have a phone. And I don't think she has a cell phone. She does not. So we're going to have to use some of the money that they have here to buy a phone. And Fabian just got invited to the nature lot, Peerless Park, where nature sims are always welcome. He's been outside bird watching for fun. He loves nature. Okay, Kevin's done with his depositing here. Eva's asking Bobby on a date. Gia's at class. 
um, let's go to a community lot. They probably don't want to hang around here. They want to go have some privacy. And they haven't seen each other since Eva moved to college. And Bobby's been dating a lot of other women around Pleasant View, but Eva doesn't know that. All right, Eva is taking Bobby to the campus lounge. And they are just arriving here in the taxi. And I know she is going to be so excited to see him. They haven't seen each other in quite a while. And look, he fears getting married to Eva. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, Bobby. You're not going to get married to Eva. At least I don't think so. Um, but she wants to talk to him, tell him a joke. So I'm going to have them get up here out of the street. Is she seriously playing her handheld game? She's like, oh, you are looking good, Bobby. <laughs> looking really good. All right, so she's going to uh, tell him a dirty joke. That seems like what they always want to do. He's like, oh, yeah, he loves the dirty jokes. <laughs> oh, he wants to fall in love with Eva. Oh, my gosh, look at this want. He wants to fall in love with Eva, and she wants to fall in love with Bobby. That is the sweetest thing ever. They are totally going to fall in love again. They were in love as teenagers, but they've kind of lost touch for a little while. So let's just have them kiss, and I think that will that will do it. They do have three bolts with each other. And like I was saying when we were playing Bobby, they are going to be the new Don and Nina of Pleasant View. Oh, they're in love now. <laughs> I love it. But she wants to have a dream date with him, and she wants to ask him home. Oh, my. He just wants to talk to her and play with her. So we're going to have them interact a little bit more and then see if they want to go back to her place. And they're already having a dream date. Check it out. I guess falling in love really cranks it way up. <laughs> oh, no. Bobby's about to be mugged by the charlatan. He's totally going to get mugged. Oh, my gosh. No. Yep, he did it. He mugged him. He totally stole his money. And you guys know, Bobby is broke. He has nothing. And he just got robbed. I wonder how much he took from him. Oh, boy. That sucks for you, Bobby. It really does. Because she's going to go smooch him, though. She's going to try and make him feel better. Hopefully that'll take his mind off of it. But we have to get out of here. We need a visitor controller on this lot, so I'm going to go ahead and spawn one. And we're going to ban the charlatan. Jeez, these college kids are poor enough. Oh my goodness. This is so romantic. Eva's giving Bobby a rose out here in the dark in front of the campus lounge. <laughs> Let's see. He wants to kiss her now. Okay, so Bobby now has rolled the want to woohoo with Eva. Uh, so they're going to try and find a place to woohoo. Now, I don't really want them to go do it in the cam campus lounge on the couch. If they go back to Eva's place, there's a couch and there's also Fabian's bed, which is weird. And I don't know if I want them to do that either, but there's really no other private place. Um, what's up here? Oh, that's like a music room. I wish one of these rooms had a couch in it. <laughs> But she wants to ask him back home, so they're going to go back home. And maybe they can just tell everybody to sort of go outside for a while so they can spend some alone time together. And now she wants to woohoo with Bobby after she asked him home and have her very first woohoo with him. All right, Bobby and Eva are back at her place. They took the taxi, but the community lot mod is not working. And I think I read somewhere that it doesn't work in the university neighborhood. So, I don't know. If you guys know anything about that, leave a comment and let me know. But I don't think it's going to work here. But that's okay. That just gives them more time on their date, I guess. Um, I think Eva is going to be like, Hey, Fabian, can I borrow your bed for a little bit? <laughs> because I really need to woohoo with Bobby. And then I promise I'll wash the sheets afterwards. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to be the woohoo bed in this house. And... That's kind of weird and gross, but that's just how it works. Oh, look, he doesn't even want to woohoo with her anymore. I guess we'll have him make out a little bit. He lost the urge on the way over here. Okay, let's see what they do, I guess. Um, oh, they're going to go do it on their own. They're going to go relax in the bed anyway. So Eva called up 
Fabian on the way over in the cab and was like, hey, I need to use your room. <laughs> I need to use your room when we get back. So he's going to stay away and Kev- we'll make sure Kevin stays out too. Kevin, why don't we make sure you're doing something? Oh, why don't you call? go call your dad? This would be a great time for him to call John. He wants to call him to chat and invite him over. We'll call him to chat first. Now, John and Kevin don't have the greatest relationship because John didn't always approve of his relationship with Fabian, but they are trying to work on that. And I see this as a very positive sign that he wants to call his dad and be like, hey, I'm in college now. I'm a man. Can we like work through this and get and get along? So I really like that. Um, he's going to go call him now. And then we're going to turn our attention to the romance upstairs. Okay, so here they go. They're going to have their very first woohoo together. That is so sweet. Right in the broad daylight. Anybody could just look through these windows. <laughs> At least they're on the second floor, though, and not the bottom floor. So they're just making out right now, and Fabian's about to go to class. And they are doing a casual woohoo now. And here they go. <laughs> and it's all blurred out because neither of them have any clothes on. So it's just gonna be a pixelated cutscene here. <laughs> they sound like they're having the time of their lives. And I still see Fabian out there watching birds. I think I need to cancel that so he goes to class. Stop watching birds. <laughs> You're gonna be late for class. Look at all his needs. He's just been out in nature all day long. Okay, so they had their first woohoo. I just love that. So sweet. Um, both romance sims, so they're not really faithful to each other, but they do love each other the most. And I think you're going to get your dream of having a dream date, but they still have three minutes and 55 seconds left in their date. So I'm just going to kind of let them do whatever they want now. Bobby's just going to hang out for the rest of the day. Um, oh, look, somebody cooked. Who cooked? I bet that was Gia. So she can come down and get something to eat. All right, so G I want to check on Gia now because we've kind of been neglecting her for a while. She wants to do an assignment and do research just like she always does. She is such a hard worker. And if we look, she will make it through this semester even if she doesn't get any more skills. She needs two mechanical skills, which she's had no desire to work on. And where does she go? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Kevin just thought that Bobby was hot. <laughs> And so did Gia. Everybody in Pleasant View thinks Bobby's hot. Look at this. She's like, call me. <laughs> right in front of Eva, too. All right, Gia's going to do her assignment. And, oh, look, now he wants to call his mom. He called John, and now he wants to call Jennifer. That is the sweetest thing ever. So he's going to call her, call his mom and talk to her and tell her that he got all settled into college just fine. Jennifer worries about him. She loves her kids, and she has a really close relationship with Kevin, too. So he really does need to call her and be like, Mom, I'm fine. I made it. <laughs> and then Fabian's off at class, so we'll see what he wants to do. When he gets home, we're probably just going to take care of his needs and call it a night. So there's still a minute and 51 seconds left in Bobby and Eva's date. And Eva wants to woo with him again. So, okay, let's have them do it before Fabian gets back from class. And then Kevin is down here on the phone. He's a popularity sim. He loves to talk on the phone. He has the want to have 10 best friends. Right now he's talking to Meadow Thayer, who he's friends with, but not quite best friends. So we're going to work on that, getting those 10 best friends for him. Oh no, Gia, don't come in. <laughs> Get out, what are you doing? She's trying to go play catch with Bobby. She tries to force everybody into playing sports with her. Get out of there. She fears getting on academic probation, which means we have to make sure that does not happen and that she uh, completes all of her semesters. And it looks like she is going. she's definitely going to do it now this semester. I'm gonna have her go take a bath just to keep her out of this bedroom. 
All right, so Eva and Bobby are going to have another casual woohoo. They might not get to see each other for a long time, so they're trying to pack it all in. <laughs> they're going to try to pack in as much as they can. And uh, let's see. Fabian just got home. He's been wearing his pajamas for like three days in a row. And he is hungry. He needs comfort and hygiene. And I know he wants to spend some time with Kevin. He's going to have to be like, guys, you got to get out of our bed. <laughs> this is enough. <laughs> Aw, Kevin just congratulated him. Now that's what I'm talking about. What a fantastic time, sweetie. You really put the dream in dream date. So they had an amazing night together, and I'm so happy for them that they got to spend this time together. But Bobby's going back to Pleasant View, to the flop house where he lives, and Eva's going to stay here and try to pursue college. But check it out. She wants to make out with three different sims and have two loves at once. Um, so which one of these is going to give her the most and we'll lock it in having two loves at once. So she'll be working on that after Bobby leaves. She's going to probably be dating somebody else. I'm going to go ahead and send her to bed for the night. And then we can try and focus more on Kevin and Fabian. G is going to eat and she's also going to go to sleep. Okay. And it looks like Kevin and Fabian are going <laughs> are going to go use the bed now and spend some time together. And they haven't seen each other either in a while. Um, in about a year that Fabian's been here waiting for Kevin to come and join him because Kevin was a year younger or is a year younger. And now they're going to be together for the first time since they aged up. Kevin and Fabian had a teen woohoo whenever I had teen pregnancy in a or not teen pregnancy, uh, teen woohoo enabled in Pleasant View. Oh, look. They fell in love again. I thought they they already had, but um, anyway, they had a teen woohoo when they were very young, and they didn't really know what they were doing. So this is their first time as adults. So once again, we are just creepy creepwads here, watching our Sims doing their private business. So they're gonna do a casual woohoo, and it's gonna be all blurred out. Now I don't think we're gonna get the cutscene. No, we're not. Okay, so we'll let them, we'll let them do that. And I'm sure they're going to fall asleep after that. So the only person still awake right now is Gia. Gia, it's time for bed. It's one in the morning. What is she doing? Is she going to go outside and splash in a puddle in the middle of the night? You're going to get struck by lightning. In our first semester, we're only going to be playing Gia and Fabian because they are the oldest of our Sims here. So Gia and Fabian will be going to their first semester together. In the second semester, we'll be moving in Ke Kevin... Kevin, 